The quokka, a partly striped subspecies of zebra, was entirely wiped out by colonial hunters in the 19th century. But now, a small group of scientists and conservationists believe they have recreated the animal on a private nature reserve just two hours north of Cape Town. We are trying to breed back the quokka that uh, became extinct through hunting many hundreds of years ago. The last original quokka died in a zoo in Amsterdam in 1883, and critics are curious why anyone would want to resurrect the animal. So it's uh, an attempt to try and repair, if you like, an ecological damage that was done a long time ago in some sort of small way, and also to try and get a representation back of uh, a charismatic animal that um, used to live uh, in South Africa. Over a period of 30 years, the Quaker project has used selective breeding of plain zebra to produce an animal they say is indistinguishable from those that roamed the same plains centuries ago. We do this through selective breeding. Uh, we actively go out, select ones with less striping and put them together in breeding groups. Um, and there we concentrate the, uns the unstripy gene and uh, each animal has got less and less stripes every generation. Others claim this is an unnecessary interference with nature and unlikely to produce a genuine quokka. The DNA showed that it was in fact the same species as the plain zebra because it was identical. And um, so it would have, we would call it a variety, subspecies if you like, of the plain zebra, but certainly not a different species. If it had been a different species then the whole project would have been scientifically um, not justifiable. While critics question the process and intent, it is hard to argue with the result. The project currently has over 100 animals, with six of these animals in the fifth generation since the breeding program began.